Triangle congruence by side, side, side is our topic for today. So how can I use the side links to prove that triangles are congruent? Just going to jump right in. Postulate 19, side, 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 or abbreviated SSS congruence postulate. If three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So to say two figures are congruent, we need to know that their side lengths are all equal and their angles are all equal. But what we know with side, side, side is that if you have three sides that are congruent, the angles are also going to be congruent, which means that the two triangles are going to be congruent. So as long as we know that three sides are congruent to the corresponding three sides, then we're good to go. So in our examples, decide whether the congruent statement is true. Explain your reasoning. Triangle D F G is congruent to triangle H, J, K. So remember, it goes in order. So that means that D, F needs to be congruent to H, J. So let's see, D, F, H, J. That works. And then if we look, F, G is going to need to be congruent to J, K. F, G, J, K. And then K, H, G, D. So yes, since all the corresponding parts are congruent, they are congruent triangles by side, side, side. All right, so example number two, A, C, B is congruent to C, A, D. So A, C, B is congruent to C, A, D. Well, if we look, the nines are the same, the sevens are the same, but if we look, D, C is four and A, B is three, so we would say no, because A, B is not congruent to D, C. And lastly, we have example three, triangle Q, P, T is congruent to triangle R, S, T. So Q, P and R, S need to be congruent, which they are, two tick marks, P, T, needs to be congruent to ST, which they are, they both have three tick marks, and then TQ would need to be congruent to TR, which they are, so we would say yes, and our reasoning would be side, side, side. Congruence postulate. Next piece, write a proof. Write a proof. So we are given that KL is congruent to NL, KL is congruent to NL, and KM is congruent to NM. Prove that triangle KLM is congruent to triangle NLM. So if we start, we want to make our two columns. Statements. And our reasons. So first off, let's just start by listing off our givens. One, we are given that KL is congruent to NL, and KM is congruent to NM. And we can put them on the same line. They are both given to us. So now we know that two sides of our triangle are congruent. We need that third side, which is LM. Since it's on both triangles, we need to say that LM is congruent to LM. And our reasoning is the reflexive property of congruent segments. You can say that a segment is congruent to itself. So we put three tick marks there. Now we know that all three sides of our triangle are congruent. So reason number three, we can say that triangle KLM is congruent to triangle NLM. Reason being side, 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 congruence postulate. Last piece, which are the coordinates of the vertices of a triangle congruent to P, Q, R? If we look, let's just give our measurements here. P, Q is 4, 
QR is 3. That's a right triangle because it perpendicular lines. We have a horizontal and a vertical, so right triangle. It's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, so we should know our hypotenuse is 5. It's a Pythagorean triple. So if we look, we want to look for a triangle that is also a right triangle that has the same lengths. So if we look at A, let's just plot those points. Negative 1, 1. Negative 1, 5. And negative 4, 5. Right there, we have length 3, length 4. It's a right triangle, so this would be length 5. So right there, we have the coordinates of a triangle congruent to PQRS. All right, so our answer is letter A. That's all the notes that I have for you today. Thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.